Hello everybody, welcome back to Prehistoric Kingdom, uh, where last time we built a, a, a grand little birdhouse. Let's jump in and have a look at it. Uh, there was a little, a little hint on screen that you may have noticed for uh, one of the things we might be looking at today relating to this. But uh, for now let's just uh, jump in, have a quick look at our little birdhouse that we built. Because uh, I'm very happy with it overall, I think. Um, uh, there we go. So, here we are inside. Let's actually switch to, to load the camera. Uh, as you can see, you've got a nice little uh, stone entryway here. Uh, and from inside, you can see we have a Microraptor enclosure. Hello. Uh, we have one that is currently empty because as far as I'm aware there's only two animals in the entire game thus far that uh, require the use of the uh, aviary. But it's early access so there will hopefully be more coming. Uh, and then down the stairs takes us to our Archaeopteryx enclosure. Hello, it's on the lights we can actually see you. There you go, it's a lovely Archaeopteryx. So that's what we did yesterday. Yesterday? Yes, it was yesterday. <laughs> um, finishing up this building. And then when we last left off, uh, I was busy in the middle of constructing what is going to be uh, a tower that will eventually form a uh, sort of a clock tower as part of a town hall type building um, that will come off this planned central plaza area that we're going to have here. Uh, before I jump into the actual building of that, though, what I want to do is I want to show you a little something. Uh, and this was initially, it just started as, oh, this is something for, for Dizzy's personal interest and nothing else. Um, so as you just saw, uh, we had the birdhouse with a, a, a lovely thatch roof. And the thatch roof is, is a, it's a very messy texture, but it allows me to hide the fact the underlying structure of the roof. So this is just the the same building, but what I've done is I've clicked on it, uh, and I've clicked roof material. That one. So I had the four was roof material thatch. Looks like that. This is roof material. This modern sort of wood, and you can see exactly how untidy and overlapping all the various plates and things are. However, the reason why I'm hiding it up highlighting it today is not because it's messy, you know it is, it's because, annoyingly, I've decided I actually like the aesthetic of this sort of modern blackwood roof a lot more than I like the aesthetic of the thatch. I'm not going to redo the roof, I'm not going to change the roof to be this, um, not least because I don't have the materials or the building skill to make a nice looking roof without hiding the overlapping horribleness using a thatch. Um, I just wanted to bring it up as a, as, a, as a, it's a bit of a shame. Possibly at some point if they add, because the, the thing we really need here is a tri triangular roof piece. We've got a, a quarter circle roof piece and we have square roof pieces and we have like uh, pyramidal roof pieces, that's what this is. This, this bit here, um, or quarter pyramids, uh, and full pyramids, we also have quarter pyramids. But we don't have a, a triangular piece. Um, if we got a triangular piece, I could definitely make this whole thing again and make it look a lot nicer, and then potentially maybe could even make it out of this material instead of the thatch. But just thought that might be uh, of interest to people. 
Let's jump back to where we were. Uh, we've probably lost access to our time of day controls by doing this. But as mentioned, we're apparently not supposed to have them anyway, so... You know, I guess que sera sera. Oh, look. Oh, can't mess with that, it's a shame. So, uh, what I want to do today is less dinosaur focused. I mostly just want to... Uh, well, uh, I mostly want to finish this building here, uh, the, the eventual town hall building. Uh, and uh, theoretically it should potentially take that long, because uh, most of it's going to be, uh, unlike something like the, the shops, or or that shop over there, or even really so much so like the, the bathrooms, the majority of, of the uh, town hall area will be off limits to the public. So it shouldn't be, I think, too much of a big deal um, for it to be, you know, like, like a lot of it will just be uh, an area with no interior. The only interior really needs to be the uh, central corridor that will lead through the ground floor of the building. And possibly a bit of a reception area on the side. Uh, I do want to see how how tall is one story here. I guess this is what I do. I think two, two levels of staircase is probably adequate for one story. That's plenty of headroom over one person. Even if it's not quite up to the roof of this place. I think two, two, two levels is adequate for one story. So we've effectively got one, two, three, four stories worth of tower here. Uh, I did finish this um, this bit off stream. Also, I made a little bit of a boo boo. This just needs to be shunted sideways into that one. Yeah. Um. Then... Just thinking now, I have to actually sort of come to a proper decision on the uh, bathing, etc., that I'm planning to do. But you, you know me, I, I always avoid making any kind of decisions for as long as possible when it comes to building stuff. Let's move you over. be permanently battling with Peter's running low. So here's a little Dryasaurus enclosure. I am sure we will come to, to the proper visit to the Dryasaurus in a sec. But uh, here's CQ. A Dryasaurus. He always says that. He literally always, always, always says that. He never stops saying a Dryasaurus where we don't want sources. Um, we love you, Nigel. But we know. We, we get it. Uh, I'm just going to bring this over here to use this as a, a height reference. Put me down very slightly.
Um, Both a little bit. Lines up nice on that side, so that's probably good enough line up to pick up the other. Okay. So people should be able to look up that just fine. Um <sighs> now I need uh, an interior for which one like this. Let's go for them, not flat. Hang on a sec. There we go, that's much better. So that's currently the same height as that. We don't actually want it that high. We want it up a little bit. Um, but crucially, we want to split you off. Like that? Yeah, we'll go with like that. That's probably enough for now, at least to figure out exactly how deep this build is going to be. Okay. Right, we now want the cladding on the tower. This is going along. So you can now technically, theoretically, you can walk all the way down here if you want. 
don't know if you're going to, but you can. I actually have no idea what you're planning to get. Oh, you're not doing much. Um, don't mind me getting excited. Oh, I did remember one thing. Uh, and you'll have to give the ADHD brain a sort of jump here. Uh, it wasn't this beam, although I'm sure I fixed this beam several times. Let's just save having fixed that beam. Because I'm sure I keep fixing it. Uh, yeah, one of the things I remembered was you can actually see the, uh, the terrain at the back of this lift here, which we don't want. Well, that's okay because it's a relatively fix. Let's grab that. That's texture. Oh, I didn't want that one. Hang on. That texture. Find that bit. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Not for this color. And I think, in theory, that should. Yes, that's perfect. Yes. Not for this use. Uh, right. Back to our actual building that we're trying to make. Uh, I want the same stone texture as that, or brick texture as that, but I might want it in a slightly different colour. So let's grab a bit of wall, 4x4. Four four. go and then texture I want in a different color why do you have so many different color tabs oh gosh okay right so we can really make you a real proper blend I see, okay. Well, it does make for an interesting building. But the question is, does it make for the kind of building colour that I want? Because I'm not certain I want to stick with this one being quite so bright. So if I change all of them, the darker grey and then have speckles of the really dark grey, hmm. I'm not actually certain that this one. The base colour is not going to be See, that's boring. Interesting. Hmm. I might Google pictures of a town hall. Uh, let's go grab a, a microaptor. This handsome little fella is one of my personal favourites. The Micro Raptor. I've always wanted to hand feed one, but I don't want to chance one of these feisty creatures mistaking my finger for a tasty lizard. Actually, I just need my old falconry gloves. Uh, 
Okay, I think I can get away with a, a fairly light color. Oh, someone's doing like a proper flying swoop there. I don't know where they went. Like, I didn't properly catch them in the act, sadly. Oh, hey, people are starting to, to venture onto us now. That's cool. Okay, so we'll... Let's go back to the, the midshed. For the few... No, we'll stick to all the midshed. And we'll maybe try and use texture to spice up rather than these colours. Hey, you made it all the way down! Oh, no, okay. <laughs> he made it nearly all the way down. But it, it, it's good to know that the, the, the AI can and will navigate the staircase properly. Yeah, so... Um, unfortunately, I don't really know exactly what I'm doing, but as usual. Um, So we know that we want this to be the pool. Uh, we know we probably also want the wall to be a little bit less thick than this. Although, having a thick wall isn't the end of the world. Right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make the corner and then put it into place. Because my brain is too small to figure out what exactly we're supposed to be doing otherwise. <laughs> yep. So this bit can be a, a flat texture. This bit's going to have a clock on it. So this bit won't be able to have this. It is very difficult to see what's going on. Okay. I like the camera is very twitchy. Uh, no, it's very twitchy. Calm down. Okay. I don't know if these bits are necessarily going to stay there. But, uh, actually. 
let's assume for now that they are until we fill our spot point. And then if we've got enough space around the clock. Um, If we've got enough space around the clock, we can swap these out a bit to the lower side of the Okay, this is a chunky tower. It's chunky than I'd maybe hoped for. That's probably because our staircase is wider than it strictly needs to be. So that's probably okay. Right. Now what I want is I want a big circular light. The yeah, clock face. Let's actually make this a separate group. I feeling I may want to fiddle with bits of this. Now, how big do we want? I want it central. How big is big? That's a pretty good size clock. Huh? Yeah. Uh, the next thing we want are some ring sections. I don't know where to find ring sections. Um, This is work in a pinch, roof trim, flat rounds. Oh wow, these are these are big. These are real big. These are big, but they probably work well. Although 
that doesn't look like it. Well, we'll see. It's not quite a hemisphere, a, a quarter sphere, is it? Quarter circle. I don't want it lighting. It probably won't be in props. There could be something in these lines. I could just use an O. <laughs> um. Let's go to roofs, grab this one we want. Hopefully this is actually what we want. size of you is a little more tricky. I feel like you're not a proper water sphere either, but maybe I'm just being paranoid. Okay, that's pretty okay. I would have liked the ring to be thinner. Definitely. Oh. Oh, of course, the light went off. Hi, Dave! Um, I've just discovered a big problem with my plans for a giant clock, and that is, it turns off when it's daytime. <laughs> I didn't really think about that. Hmm. <laughs> uh, 
What's good? I don't know. Um, not this, certainly. <laughs> okay, can I find one? Is there like a white pane of glass? I know there's, there's panes. Pane of glass rounds. Can I change the colour of this at all? No. I can change the colour of this, although it does say opaque. So it might be too opaque. I will say this this supposedly white glass is not very white. I would in fact describe it as not at all white. Okay. Uh well that's a bit of a problem. <laughs> I can't believe my giant clock just turns itself off in the daytime. Um there's no material that's like hang on, if I grab a if I grab one of these and set it to glass. I can change the frame colour, I can't change anything sensible. <laughs> okay, um... And yeah, that doesn't care what colour I set that to at all. Uh... <sighs> okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We'll just have light pointing at the clock face. It's fine. Um, modern. I guess we just want concrete then. Pure white concrete. The thing that all good uh, clock faces are made of. What's the bloody end of that though? Ah, I know. Actually, that's pretty good, isn't it? Uh, this is quite large. We will have to do something about that. There we go, okay. Okay. Right, big clock face. No longer illuminated, it's very sad. Um, but we'll cook. 
Let's grab this and see if I can make an inner ring. Part of me is like, no, make it bigger. No, we'll, we'll be fine. Okay, we can also it. Why on earth is the center point down there? the middle of the process look like? I, mean, I suppose there needs to be something kind of sort of jutting out the middle. It is the... 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 <sighs> Stop. Engage brain. Wait for thought. Once thought is arrived, encapsulate thought beautifully in your words, Dizzy. The pivot point around which the hands turn. There we go. We got that. I have more constructor elements. I'm not seeing anything. It's a shame. No, that's lights. Uh, I don't think so. There, I guess I'll look like on here. Oh, we do have these little sort of sign type things. I could at some point go around making some signs for our exhibits. I was hoping to wait until, because I know they're planning to add um, an actual like information sign asset. So I wanted to wait for that before I finalized any signs as it. I wonder if I might be, I might take some of these. That's a good point, I actually do want to change the material on me. Oh, that's not going to happen. Has streaky metal or asphalt. That's not so bad. Uh we got glass again. Oh, that. Yeah, I'll just have black ugly thatch. <laughs> sure. Um uh, well I guess we'll stick with asphalt. I want a full sort of little spike bit of green. Hey, someone's come all the way down now. Hello. You come to have a look at this thing I'm building. That's quite charming, really. I mean, if I saw somebody constructing a four meter high massive black dome, I'd definitely come down some stairs to have a look at what it was for. Right, 
there. Uh, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to have it round the wrong way. Scale it down a bit. I have it on the wrong way because then I can see this like circle bit as it comes through the wall. Say that that's there. Oh, 19. Um. in the middle is not so easy. I think it's about there. And then let's shrink you down. More than that. Oh. That's pretty good. Uh, we're going to bring it out though, because I am going to put... I'm going to go back for that. So I'm going Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. And that will obviously turn off when it's uh, daytime. But hopefully that should kind of light up the face. Hot face, maybe? Maybe not. Okay. The plan was that would light up the cock face. Does not, however, seem to have worked. For reasons that I am unclear about. Ugh, ugh, come on. There we go. Oh, goodness. You are a super twitchy camera today.
Okay. Well, I'm gonna do that. And then... <laughs> that's the best you get. Okay. Clock face. Going alright so far. Ooh. Hmm. Here's a thought. Here's a thought. If I make the hands this cube shape. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. If I make the hands this tube shaped light. Then I can have it so that the 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 plot face, if you will, is no, never mind, that won't work. Ignore me. Ignore me. Um. I hope you can't hear the people outside. If you can hear the people outside. Now I'm gonna want some fancy clock cap, but first what I do is I want something that I can uh, use to like line up the buttons. I'll put you in here. Make sure you're fairly well centered. Right. Oh, well, I do also want that. A bit more than that. I think we're going to there. Okay. That won't be the finished hand. That's just a, a marker so that I can rotate stuff easily, theoretically. Oh my god, there's so much noise outside. I guess there's a window. Hang on. Ow. And I may have accidentally crashed my mint in the window when I closed it. Because I have mint there on my so This is all just a disaster. My entire room is now falling apart. <laughs> right. Okay. What was I doing? Oh, yes. Signs. They're not really good Roman numerals, are they? But they'll have to do. Are you kidding me? It's lying down. Okay, uh, let's grab all the numbers that I'm going to need. Or the left side I'm gonna need an I, I'm gonna need a V, I'm gonna need an X.
Point upright, upright. That's actually perfect. Uh, rotation already. That's as good as it's going to get. Uh, actually, let's move these on. That's pretty good already. Huh? Slightly lights up the clock face. <laughs> it's not amazing, but it, it's there. I think I'll, an idea from the Illuminator's hand actually would work. Right, well now I want to get you. Let's get you up. Bring you off here. And Shrink it down to the right size. What is the right size? This is answers uh, uh, probably like about that big. I've got to be able to write V I I V I I I. That's probably the right size. Ah, uh, right, something's having a problem. Enclosure mods, dry sources, fuses are on the bow. We are in year 25. With our probably still 10 years old dry sources. I'm assuming that animal death is something, yeah, still 10 years old. I'm assuming animal death is something they're planning to implement at some point. Um, but they obviously haven't got around to it yet, which is fine. Again, it's an early access game. Well, lots of people coming to the tower now. And how far forward do we? Well, that's probably actually a good amount of forwardness, to be honest. Okay. So, what we're going to do. Is so. I uh, think you can still hear them, even with me closing windows left, right, and centre. Uh, next, I have the grand guitar, which is lovely, but very noisy. Apparently, I made one point two five million last month. That's a lot of money. The other thing I could do if I wanted to is actually uh, 
bring this down when I work on it, which I might still do. That's why we're working from the top down, which I know is an unusual way to build a building, but we're, we're working with it. Uh, okay, so the first number I want is just one. It's nice and easy, number one. Oh, uh, no, I need to make sure the right colour first. Number one. And so angle snap to thirty degrees. Oops. Now we need an I I yep, do mind. Ah, I know why the 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 camera is a bit more jittery. It's because I'm actually working a lot higher up above the ground than usual. Normally the camera kind of slows down as you get towards the ground. But uh and normally when I'm close in on the building, I am quite close to the ground, but today I'm up in the air. Yeah, normally I'd be working at this same height but above ground that's here. But today I'm working at this height above ground that's all the way down there. One, two, three o'clock. Okay, now I need an IV. Where's the middle of an IV? Probably there ish? One, two, three, four. Now we just need a V. Now we need a VII.
V I I I. Uh, now we need an IX. Now we just need an X. And then the Sith Grand Magic, the last one we need. Oops. <laughs> it's amazing how the game conspires to make you look like a fool every time I make a grand declaration. Marvelous, so we've got the clock face. Um, now we need hands. I want to make nice fancy hands. But, I have no skill. You see how this is a problem for me? What is this? There are weird signs here as well. Could I make dinosaur hands? No, probably not. That's a stupid idea. Can I make dinosaur bones as hands? Probably also a stupid idea. Well. Okay, hear me out here. I take a skull. Okay. Uh -huh. If I take a skull and I make it black. That's not very black. But then I make it flat. Could I use that as the tip of my hands?
No, it's tough to do. Let's have a sensible book. Um, okay. What do I want to build a clock hand? Not really. I want to stretch Make a new grape. So I was just checking that the whole clock was working. Uh, See anything because I haven't turned on my torch. Okay, tip of a clock hand. <laughs> Shaft of a clock hand, and then they normally have some like fancy stuff. Maybe a little hasty. Oh.
Something like that? Not the fanciest clock hand I've invented, but you know. A hotkey toggle for angle snap is definitely something that the game needs. Okay. Bang on. Okay, right. If I now want to shrink the key down, oh, maybe. Boom. Okay, we've got a minute hand. I probably now want a second hand.
Does the mat hand go over or under the second hand in the clock? Um. The minute hand goes in front, okay. How long have we been going? About an hour and a half. Feels like longer. Time should it be? I wonder if there's a best time to display on the clock. Ten ten. I was like, I know there's a, a time that watches often show in pictures, etc. Ten ten. No. Ten. There we go. Okay. This one. So my plan is do away with this set of struts, shrink this down, and just move that down. There we have our second act. Of course, at ten past ten, the second hand isn't actually pointing exactly at ten. It's pointing at one sixth past ten. But if every angle is 30 degrees, actually I can do, I can do that, hang on. I do a, a 5 degree angle snap. That should be 10 plus 10. There we go. We've got our clock! I'm very happy with that. Wow, I sort of... Vaguely didn't necessarily think that was actually going to work. Um, <laughs> we've got a clock, it looks clock-like. Um, these numbers are a bit bunched up, but that is often true of clocks. I'm quite happy with that, I think. This town is definitely wider than I would really like it. In real life, you probably would have a one-person wide staircase here. I don't really want to go back and change it, though. It's like, this is comfortably two people wide. It's not even, like, tight two people wide. It's a lot of effort to change now. No, nope, it's gonna stay. It's gonna stay being slightly too wide. Oh, that way you are. Slightly too low. Uh, what I want to do is I want to grab this, merge it, and then I want to save you as a. Fab. 
um, Now, do I want to make you bigger? We'll see how it feels after I put a roof. We'll see how it feels then. Oh boy, it's very warm though. I'll stop to tie at some point. Let's have a quick break. Well, Dizzy takes a, a bit of water. We'll find uh, an archaeopteryx to look at. Hello. This is an Archaeopteryx. Its fossil was one of the most important scientific discoveries ever made. Not only was it the first feathered dinosaur found, but we now know its colours were mostly black and white, much like a magpie. This behavior pattern this object is not enormously entertaining. Cheap, flap, wiggle head, preen. Cheap, flap, wiggle head, preen. You're at least doing something different when you fall asleep. Are you doing the same? You guys look like you're doing the same. You want to do something Oh, you're going to climb a tree. Hello. Oh, you are now sitting on your friend's back. Oh, wow. <laughs> you, you went so fast that the camera could not keep up with it. Wow. Oh, that's marvellous. Okay. I do like my little birdies. <laughs> I saw the shadows of the trees over there for a second. I was like, oh my god, what? Dinos has a dinosaur gone out? Uh, I tell you what, though, we should probably check up on our food and stuff up on the small. Oh my god, what the heck? Why do we have a dinosaur out of bounds? Gentulga? Gentulga, did you walk through a fence again? Protoceratops. This animal is one of the what smallest are you doing over here? Ceratopsians, living alongside deadly neighbors like the Velociraptor. How did you get Funny here? Enough, this animal lacks a lot of the more complex facial features seen in larger family members, like a certain three-horned celebrity. Everybody else perfectly happy to stay in sensible locations. Not you. No, no, no. I've got to go wandering. Out of bounds, a daft creature. Oh, they. Right. Okay. Egypt Protoceratops has been returned. Cocktail. Now I do want to put one of these on the other sides. Uh, 
has a tiny little bit of one stick. Hold on now. That's most displeasing. Right. I'm gonna fix that now. The camera slowed down because I was suddenly really close to that. Okay, um I don't know why that's sticky. I'm advancing on the other bits sticky too, but actually this one is very slight. Okay. We fixed it. Okay. Yeah. Fuck Tower. Marvelous. Uh, I won't lie to you guys, I'm flagging a little bit, so we may only go for a two hour stream today. Possibly even less. Oh, okay. So we do actually have plenty of room underneath this if we want to put some windows in. Loads and loads of Hmm. I tell you what, I'm also thinking, I'm also thinking. I don't know if I'm super happy with this color. It seems a bit bluish. That might just be because it's nice. I wonder if I can add a little heat. I don't think I'm any more happy with that, so I don't think I'm any less happy with that. Hang on. No, okay, I like that more. Um. Oh boy, gosh, the, the heat is actually really getting to me. 
Uh, it might be a good time for you to call it. Which is a shame, because I definitely wanted to get more of this building done. But I'm glad that we got the clock tower bit. Possibly what I might do is, uh... Just pull this out another bit. And hook you up with another bit of path. So that people can get easily to you. And then this that completes this as a as an actual loop now if they want to use it that way. <laughs> Which might increase flow through here a little bit. Uh, yeah, that's gonna have to be it for me. Oh, there's people up on the roof here again. Oh, there's one people up on the roof. Two people up here on the roof. Um, still haven't figured out how they're getting up there. Still don't know why they go up there, given that they can. Um, but hey ho, what can you do? This dinosaur looks very dead. I understand that it's not, it's just sleeping, but it looks very dead. <laughs> oh boy. Um,. You are a really One pretty pal. Fossil preserves a protoceratops and a velociraptor locked in battle. Hmm, I know that look in your eye. Yeah, we know you know that look in eye. You, this is such a pretty pattern. And this, I'm sorry, but this is. <laughs> you're such an ugly dinosaur. What are you? You're Och. I can't remember what the different colours are. You're just... I don't know why. I just... I'm so much less of a fan. The green one's okay on this. I thought I was gonna fall in love with the green Dryosaurus and the green Protoceratops more than I actually have. Because uh, I, I, I must admit, I'm a bit of a sucker for, for green and red tones in dinosaurs even though they're not necessarily always the most biologically sensible colours to reconstruct them with. Um, but I actually, I actually, I really, I really love the fuzzy, the fuzzy dryosauruses. And I love the base dryosauruses. That's a puzzle as well. I love the base dryosauruses as well. Here's Yi. Named after someone in chat. Let's find a green one. Anya. Yeah, the green ones, they're okay. They're not worse than the other skins. But I was expecting to, to love these ones the most, and I just sort of don't, and I'm surprised. I think the female one's slightly better. Anyway, uh, we are going to call it there for today. Um, we've made our clock, which is the thing we most wanted to do. Uh, yeah, I showed you the, the roof to the um, birdhouse and, and what's going on with that. I think we're just going to call it there for a slightly shorter stream today. Um, if the shorter stream has left you wanting for content, you can always go to my YouTube channel, which is Dis for Demise with No Underscore, where you can see all of my past catalogue of Prehistoric Kingdom videos, so you can see how we got to this point, the making of the famous Colosseum and the uh, Dryosaurus enclosure, uh, as well as my gameplay for everything else that I did. So Jurassic World Evolution was very similar to this, obviously, uh, but I also play mystery games, I play Assassin's Creed, I play Huntable of the Wild, all sorts of things you can find over there. It's my entire back catalogue. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitter, at this for Demise. Uh, which is where I tweet every time I go live, so you never have to miss a future instalment of the Prehistoric Kingdom Journey. Uh, and other than that, I think the only thing left for me to say is Maya has been busy. Thank you everyone very much for watching. Sorry for the slightly short stream, but I will see you tomorrow for what I'm planning will be some games featured in the uh, Steam Tiny Teams event. 
so there's a, a couple of demos that I might play. There's also Discolored 1, which I think is not technically in the Tiny Teams event, but Discolored 2 is in the Tiny Teams event, uh, and it looks like a very interesting puzzle game, so I wanted to get my teeth into that. So that's what's coming tomorrow. There will be more Stray in the future, we'll be finishing that off. Uh, not doing it right away, not least because I want to give everyone the chance to play it for themselves and, and finish without spoilers. Because I know I've been avoiding stray streams for fear of spoilers. So I don't want anyone, anyone else to have to avoid my stray stream for fear of spoilers. If you get me. Uh, yeah, so that's what's coming in the next couple of days. Uh, we'll be taking my usual break on Sunday. Uh, we'll have another break next week on Wednesday coming up. Uh, and other than that, thank you everyone very much for watching. Listening to me ramble a little bit at the end here as the heat slowly melts my brain out through my ears and I lose all cognitive function. Uh, and I will see you all next time. To our everyone. <laughs>